हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर लव के कटारिया एंड टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टमक फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन पॉइंट सो लेट्स क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट स्टमक फोर नाउ दिस पॉइंट इज इज नोन एज डाइकैंड इन चाइनीज एंड व्हिच मींस अर्थ ग्रेनरी सो लेट्स सी द लोकेशन फर्स्ट सो देयर टू वेज टू लोकेट दिस पॉइंट सो वन इज इदर यू कैन गो पॉइंट फोर चुन लेटरल इदर साइड फ्रॉम द कॉर्नर ऑफ द माउथ और यू कैन ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन फ्रॉम द पीपल and get to the level with the corner of the mouth so this is the point stomach four okay so as you can see uh, this point is uh, is near the is near the lips so lips are related to spleen and spleen is the organ for the earth element and hence the name earth granary now the special as this uh, as, as uh, due to its location it is a very very important point for the uh, uh, for the treatment of the face so Uh, it could be used in the condition of wind uh, wind due to any reason due to internal reasons or the external reasons uh, which causes the drooling or uh, drooling of saliva deviation of mouth inability to open eyes whatever could be uh, the reason this point has a significant role to play and the other the other part which we can use is the pain especially in case of trigeminal neuralgia whatever could be the reason either it could be due to the invasion uh, the external invasion on the channels of the face by wind and cold or due to the internal reasons whether it is due to excess liver fire flaring up or the empty heat due to iron deficiency whatever is the reason uh, this point has a very very important role to play okay in the case of trigeminal neuralgia as well so in this case we have to needle uh, na to the opposite side we have to needle contralaterally now uh, the muscle which on which it is located is is orbicularis oris so orbicularis oris is the muscle which uh, surrounds the lips and the other muscle which uh, uh, on which it acts is the buccinator it holds the cheek like this so buccinator has a role to as is as a function of holding the cheeks uh, to the teeth while chewing okay and together both of the these muscles they help in the swelling sucking whistling chewing and the vowel pronunciation so uh, due to its uh, effect this uh, as is this point has the effect on these two muscles you can clearly see how important this point is so let's see stomach 5 so stomach 5 is known as daying in chinese which means greater welcome and let's have a look look at the location of both of the points so the uh, so when uh, in order to locate it you need to ask the patient to clench the mouth so like this so if you have to locate stomach 5 you have to uh, come you will feel a depression in uh, in front of the muscle and that is stomach 5 and uh, if you move uh, if you move one finger breadth uh, from the posterior border and from the lower border uh, from the angle of the jaw so you will be lying on stomach 6 which is very near to the angle of the mandible and this point lies on the very very important muscle of the face known as masseter so as these have similar similar function let's quickly see stomach 6 known as jaiche and meaning jaw bone so clearly we are talking about the 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 lower jaw the mandible we are talking about so this is a very very strong muscle of of the face and all the all the all the indications uh, revolve around this muscle itself so whatever could be the whatever is the reason uh, for the the problem whether is uh, is due to internal or external wind which is causing the inability to to open the mouth or uh, a, a locked jaw kind of uh, kind of situation is or there is a spasm or there is pain or there is uh, uh, like uh, paralysis so in all the cases where the masseter is affected you can definitely use Uh, uh this uh, this point uh because it is a very strong muscle it has the effect uh, uh, on the distant part as well so towards the eyes as well as towards the neck so if you have some stiffness and uh, stiffness and uh, pain in the neck that uh, that could also be an indication then mumps scrofula or the deviation of mouth and eye both are also the indications of this point along with as as it is locally you can see this is uh, this could be the uh, point to choose for all the uh, uh, problem in the lower jaw especially the gum gum problem teeth problem pain uh, in this area in the molar premolar region so 
all in uh, in a nutshell i'll i'll say the, i'll say the in any problem in the lower jaw uh, while opening the mouth this is the point to consider so now let's quickly look at the next point stomach 7 which is known as yag 1 in chinese which means below the joint so which talk, which joint we are talking about is uh, temporomandibular joint uh, tmj it's known as tmj tmj okay so what is this tmj let's have a look uh, so we have a zygoma this bone is known as zygoma and there is a process the bone goes behind a thin bone goes behind like this this is a zygomatic process and it joins with the condylar process so mandible has two processes one is coronoid and the other is the condyle so it makes a joint this bone makes a joint with the condyle and and, and it makes a temporomandibular joint so it the point lies below the temporomandibular joint so how to locate it you come uh, uh, from this external uh, pinna you you just come in front and just try to open and close the mouth so there will be you will feel a depression below this zygomatic process and this point is known as uh, th th this is the point uh, st stomach 7 so as you can see the uh, as per the location of the point it is very close to the ear so hence it is indicated for uh, all the kinds of the ear problem as a local point now the other reason why it's uh, uh, indicated for the ear problem is because stomach 7 is also a meeting point of stomach and the gallbladder channel and as the gallbladder channel passes through the ear so it affects this point indirectly affects the ear now it also this point it also lies on the cheek so any problem like pain and swelling in this area as a local point you can use now this point also affects the teeth in the upper jaw molars uh, premolars okay so any kind of pain swelling gum problem in this area you can treat it now again the jaw problem any problem related to temporomandibular joint yeah, especially those in uh, after the fracture uh, there is a there is a procedure of uh, um, intermaxillary fixation in which uh, nah, the patient uh, uh, the jaws are locked and he is not about, uh, allowed to chew so in the, after after a, after a, um, 20 to 30 days when when the wires are removed so patient is not able to move the jaws it's a very very good point in such cases where the muscles goes very very stiff so of course it can be used in case of trigeminal neuralgia facial paralysis now the most the very important uh, uh, part uh, important function of this point is as this point lies near the trigeminal nerve now let's understand what is the trigeminal nerve so trigeminal nerve is the is the one of the cranial nerves the cranial nerve is that it, it originates from the brain and comes to the face so from here it divides into the three branches so one is the ophthalmic branch which supplies the eye now the other is uh, uh, the, ma the maxillary branch and the third is the mandibular branch so uh, the trigeminal neuralgia is a disease of this nerve itself and according to the location of the pain you can choose the point so okay so uh, it, it, for, for to treat such uh, problems so you can use stomach 7 as a main point and if the ophthalmic branch is affected you can use u uau point uh, this point is an extra point it lies on the uh, in the middle of the eyebrow and if the maxillary branch is affected you can use uh, stomach 2 as a local point and main point will be the stomach 7 and if the mandibular uh, branch is affected then you can use cv24 as a local point so uh, for trigeminal neuralgia it will be a very very specified uh, spe uh, uh, treatment plan uh, you can choose so uh, for the upper jaw problems for the upper jaw tooth teeth uh, problem you can also use just two points are sufficient so uh, as a local point stomach 7 and as a distal point stomach 44 so today we have seen very very uh, important three points on the face and that is stomach 4 stomach 6 and stomach 7 so stomach 4 is very important for all kinds of uh, problem for the on, on the face then if you are having some patient is having some problem in the lower jaw stomach 6 is a, a point to choose and for the problems of the upper jaw stomach 7 is the point to choose thank you